party hats. Boom, boom. The whole go bang, bang here. Let us begin. I want you to keep an eye out for the Boogany Man. Hey everybody, welcome to this week's episode of VHS Bandits. This week we watched Slime City. Let's pop in the tape. What do you think? Well, it couldn't be any worse than the last one. Welcome to Slime City. Home to the derelicts of society. I need some money. And land of murdering, melting monsters. With an appetite for whores, bums, and junkies. When Alex moves into an apartment haunted by the occult, he is seduced by spirits and slowly becomes a hideous, slime-spattered demon. Alex, you're hurting me. No, I'm killing you. With a stomach for evil. (laughs) Fed up with this urban cesspool, Alex's girlfriend demands he pick himself up and escape the bloodthirsty supernatural forces around him. But the only way out of Slime City is for the innocent to confront the putrid powers of darkness. Go back! The 80s grindhouse classic by the doctor of gore, Gregory Lamberson, is back and digitally remastered in all its repugnant glory. Take a trip to Slime City for the most gruesome and disgusting climax you will ever see. And now, our feature presentation. Hey everybody, welcome again to this week's episode of VHS Bandits. I am one of your hosts, the Kevbot. Here with me, as always, are... Uh, I, I say that out of habit. That's not <laughs> even true anymore, but who cares? Who gives a shit? I'm not going to address it ever again. Whoa, you guys, my. go Whoa. ahead. This is one of your other hosts, Day Train. <laughs> Whoa. I'm Topher Hansen. Hey, he's one of the None. other hosts. He's one of the other hosts. One of the other hosts. Is this the like Gilligan's host. Island, where at the beginning they'd be like... You know, Gilligan and the rest, whereas in the other ones, they would say everybody (laughs) and everybody who's not in the title. (laughs) That's right. You guys are the rest and I'm the VHS. (laughs) You're the Gilligan. Yeah. (laughs) Isn't that like, uh, you know, I I know like a lot of times when you have like a band that's like like the Dave Matthews band or or all these other bands where it's just like the the guy or the gal. But what about all the other people? Right. Yeah, They're the herdsmen, Jimmy and the herdsmen. Yeah. So there's Jimmy and then the herdsmen. Dave, Matthew and the egos. Mm. Yeah. Jeez Louise. <clears throat> Jeez, Dave Matthews. Well, give the guy I, some credit. I could just start saying co-hosts. Co-hosts. Are here with co-hosts. Yeah, that works. I'm, I'm a co-host. You're a co-host. We're all a co-host. We're all co-hosts. I'm a co-host. You're a co-host. <laughs> We're a co-host. <laughs> but, the, but, the, but the as always is never true anymore. So I may say that and I won't address you, the elephant. You just had to room. clear your conscience yeah. that sometimes a host will not be on the show. That's right. Well, you oh. know, at the, at the end of the day, I got a big hunch that our audience... Does not care <laughs> at the end of the day. So I wouldn't it's worry about being it, a Kev perfectionist. A trying perfectionist. to be a professional. 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 I am Shift a professional kept... perfectionist you guys, for the you show guys where we talk about burps and farts. <laughs> you guys don't spend two hours prior doing vocal exercises and practicing your Mamo burps move. for this episode, for <laughs> our recordings. <laughs> Well, after five plus years of doing this show, oh God, it Whoa. just comes naturally. Yeah, that just ah, came naturally. Yeah, I'm ready for the show. At a team is jugular. 
Wow. It's junkular. <laughs> it's junkular, yeah. Oh, yeah. So what about this fucking movie? Hey, we uh, watched the this fucking movie today, guys. We Let's get the fuck movie. out of here. That's my favorite line in this movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> That's Let's probably the best the part of the movie. Let's get the fuck out of here. So, yeah, we watched Slime City, which is in the VHS community, one of the most sought after uh, uh, big tapes, right? Um, original copies. How big is it? What's that? I said, how big is it? It's 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 as big as uh, it's as big as the dookie that you had after having that pizza <laughs> from from Graft and Grill last night. Oh, that's oh. big. It, that 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 didn't cause a huge dookie. No, no. Zeus dookies. No, nah, it was a, it was just it's still the meteorocist me, me, meteoro, me, mediocreist pizza I've ever had. So if you want pizza Eucharist? from the Graft and Grill in Grafton, Massachusetts. It's gonna be mediocre. Yeah, I could I could spend more time talking about that pizza than probably this movie, but <laughs> I won't bore you with the details. All right, but since we're on the subject, let me start. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What, what kind of pizza did you pizza have, pizza dude? It was just a cheese pizza. So here's the what thing: they've got all these things saying, you know, this it's guy kind of looked like a pizza in the movie, fire grilled <laughs> pizza, and uh, not sure if either of you co-hosts have uh <laughs> either of you gentlemen have have gone to that place before but you know it's it's pretty nice i mean it's, it changes ownership every like six months i know it's a different restaurant constantly it's 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 yeah. been a restaurant for at least the last three years which is oh, a little it's a, reassuring it's about due it's yeah. about due could be but you know they're saying hey we got all these cool Hey, we got a cool pizza. pizza options now, and they have all these stock photos. I'm guessing <laughs> of this nice, like fire fire um, oven pizza. And uh, you know, why it's does your got menu a nice, say shutter the pizza fly looks everywhere? Like it's got a nice crisp. It's nice and bubbly. What's that? No, it's a joke. It's, it's oh no, T Man froze. <laughs> Oh, no. I froze. I'm right here. Oh, there you, you are. froze. There you go. I'm right here. You know what drives me nuts? Huh? When you go into like a you go into like a website for a restaurant or a pizza place, and it's all stock photos, and I'm like, that's not mm. representative of the pizza that I'm gonna order from your restaurant. That's right. <laughs> so the problem with this pizza was it was nothing like the pictures. Clearly, um, the top was like more well done, and the bottom was really doughy. But you could tell, like when you lift the pizza up, it's got the little, little holes on the bottom. The so it's on. frozen dough. I could have gotten a Trader Joe's pizza for half the uh, price, dude. Would dude, have been see, a lot you know, man, you're an, an assembly line. Yeah, but their fries were pretty good. Ooh, anyway, okay. that's the pizza. Yeah. That's the pizza update. Well, thanks for the review. <laughs> You're welcome. Wow. Do, do, Join do, me do, next do, do, time. So <laughs> let's talk about a movie that you typically would not want to eat pizza while watching. Or anything. Mm. Or anything for that matter. It's Maybe a little on the jello. gross side. Um, yeah. So we watched Slime City. So like I said, this is a this is a pretty sought after movie if you're a collector of tapes. And the original tape of this uh is pretty sought after, worth a bit of worth a bit of dough on the old uh on the uh east ebay's uh so why is I, it why is it so sought after is it just such a cult film yeah and that's there's my, so few tapes out there that, that is it's my just assumption hard to dude. obtain that's my assumption that they didn't make a whole lot of copies they're not like super popular out you know that there weren't a whole lot of copies out there to begin with mm-hmm. and um you know, it's a gross uh, horror movie, right? You know, it's got <laughs> sleaze and gore and all that shit that that everybody wants, right? True, true. So what I have here is a, I, what I want to call a semi-legit. So this is technically a re-release that was uh, created by um, AlternativeCinema.com, but it's through Camp Motion Pictures, um, which, uh, you know, did... They did it uh, tape releases uh, actually during, you know, back in the day. Um, so this is technically a re-release, but it's um, it's um, like licensed. Right. Um, and so this was, uh, again, through alternative cinema. 
through Camp Motion Pictures, who also did a whole bunch of other releases on tape, uh, including the WNUF Halloween special, which I got from AlternativeCinema.com, which we did over over the last Halloween season. And I have a couple there was, of their there other There was even tapes. a trailer for that on the tape. There is a trailer for it. A couple of uh, they have a couple of big boxes which I have. Uh, I have one for uh, a movie called The Basement, which is a from what I understand it's an anthology. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, there's a trailer for that on this tape too. Yeah, yeah, mm. it comes with a DVD as well that has that movie, including other movies as Captives, Video Violence One and Two, and Cannibal Camp Out. So uh, these are movies that wow. actually came out in the '80s. That maybe is, had a, a low release, uh, so they re released it. Is that still it. sealed, Dane Train? Uh, it well, I mean, again, it, it's it's a it's a new release, but I I did open it up to see the contents. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it was it was shrink wrapped uh, and stuff when it I. It looks it looks like it's shrink wrapped maybe because it. it's so new shiny. and glossy. Yeah, super super shiny, and the tape is is red. Comes with a red cassette. Ooh. Cool. And um, I also have that's for uh, the basement. And I also have one for this other movie called Splatter Farm, which is also a uh, an SOV shot on video, uh, sought after movie from back in the day that they re released through Camp Motion Pictures. Um, same kind of the same spiel on on this one. If I can get it open here, um, you get uh, a tape. It's a black tape, but you do get a tape and you get a DVD of the movie as well. All in one. What a one deal. Box. And a, yeah, it's a real deal. So go to alternativecinema.com to find any of these. Um, they have other movies too. Uh, again, uh, and we'll talk about it more when we talk about the movie, but um, they have a bunch of other movies that came out in the, in the 80s that they re-released. Uh, oh, I have another one too. I have a movie called uh, Psycho Kickboxer, which I'm dying to watch. <laughs> Dino, maybe we'll do that next month. Well, let's um, do it, yeah. But uh, that movie looks awesome. Um, but I got, I got the three. No, I got the four tapes. I got Slime City, Splatter Farm, uh, The Basement, and Psycho Kickboxer, all from Alternative Cinema. They have other tapes there of other movies that are new. Uh, they have like a movie called like Easter Sunday or Happy Easter. There's like Killer Granny. There's a whole bunch of other like new movies that they like independent horror movies that they put up on tape all through this distributor. So alternative cinema.com. Um, but in any case, um, so if you want to see this movie, you know, on a tape copy and not spend an arm and a leg on a, on a re-release or there's actually people out there who are making copies of this and unfortunately making it to look like it's a legit copy. So they're selling it as if it's a legit old copy, which is a fucking terrible thing to do. Uh... So don't be a bastard and do that. Uh, or don't be a fool and buy those. Um, don't, don't copy that floppy. Don't copy that do, floppy, folks. Do your research. Um, so on this one, you can tell that it's not an original copy <laughs> because uh, it does say limited edition VHS on the on the back of the box. So you do know. Um, so on the front, you have a guy who looks like he just ate a pizza and smothered it all over his face from the Grafton Grill. Um. Uh, and he's in front of a, <laughs> a, a New York cityscape, and it says uh, a horror film with guts. The 1989 full length theatrical release of Slime City. I love the font of Slime City. It's almost like uh, it's like a neon covered in slime. Yeah, like a neon uh, club sign. Yeah, totally covered in slime. And it says repulsive, jarring, says variety and a serial comic gore saga says the New York daily it's news. Crazy that variety even saw this. I movie. know bananas. Um, well, they watch a variety of movies. They do. <laughs> oh, that's good. Uh, so on the back, <laughs> yeah. um, you got, uh, I'll see, I'll show myself. out. You got the main character, <laughs> Alex, um, looking all spooky and shit Trebek. on the bottom of the box. And the effects are great. Oh, they're really mm, good. I oh gotta, yeah. I got to say that. Um, so it says, um, an old NYC apartment building sets the scene for this terror drenched tale of demonic possession. 30 years ago, a powerful alchemist named Zachary ordered all of his disciples to commit suicide with him in the basement of his tenement. Zachary's wife remained with the living in order to procure host bodies 
<clears throat> for the reincarnation of the souls of the self slain. <laughs> As the landlord of this rundown building, she supplies the tenants with Zachary's <clears throat> potential Himalayan yogurt and homegrown grain, <clears throat> which are quite irreversibly addictive. The hapless consumers cannot quench their thirst for the powerful hallucinatory effect, which seems to turn them into oozing slime drenched creatures bent on violence. By the time it becomes apparent to the victims that these are by no means hallucinations, the transmigration of souls is almost complete. The tale centers around Alex, an aspiring art student who rents a flat in the forsaken building and is being groomed as the host for Zachary himself. His desperate struggle to remain sane as he discovers Satan's secrets becomes the crux of the cult revival and continued dominance oh my God. In, the de in the demented corner of the world. Who the hell wrote this? This is, this is pretty. Did they rewrite it? Did like uh, lunch meat VHS rewrite it? You or know, dude, like it looks like it came from the box. I mean, it looks like this was a scan. Like the, that's the original. It looks like it was a scan of the box. This is like fake. There's like you know fake. Uh, yeah, messed yeah. up edges and shit. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It could have been. I really don't know. I've never seen a legit copy. Well, in it, person. it's a good description. I mean, it's it better is. than I would have. Uh, yeah. Done. I mean, and on the bottom That's it says sure. 2007 Camp Motion Pictures. So you know that this is the re-release. Yeah. Now, the actual tape right. itself, it's a regular, regular tape, but um, it has sort of a home cut sticker on the on the cover, on the tape, right? Mm. So it doesn't look like the what you would think would be an original copy. So it has a, you know, like this is obviously a printer paper that somebody did like at their home, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so that's that. So let's let's hop into the tape. Um, there were a lot of a uh, lot of trailers and a lot of cool stuff at the beginning of the mm. tape, including yeah. an intro uh, from our good buddy Lunch. Josh over at Lunch Meet VHS. Yeah, who, uh, who was talking about uh, all the cool tapes and releases that are coming out from uh, Camp Motion Pictures here. So uh, then Very we had some cool. Then we had some trailers. Uh, you guys want to talk about those a little bit? Well, it was the basement uh, and uh, one of the other ones you were talking the about. W W N U F Halloween w special. N -U -F, there. Yeah, which we did an episode yeah. on. I don't know if that's a Patreon only episode. It might be. Is it? I don't know. I think it might have been. If you want to listen to it, then join our Patreon at yeah. VHS Bandits. Wait. No, at <laughs> patreon.com slash VHS bandits. Um, but yeah, we did an episode on it. That's a fucking great movie. Oh, yeah. I love that movie. Oh, yeah. Um, um, anyone who is a VHS uh, enthusiast will love that movie oh, yeah. as well. Um, the, no there was doubt. a great trailer for a, for a movie that came out in like the early 90s. It was called uh, Beauty Queen Butcher. Mm. Oh, which, right, right, right. That looked awesome there was a dummy on the front of a of a hood of a car it stopped and it just went bleh <laughs> it came off the car. i thought that was a real person because it was like this um it's like this big old chunky gal and she's like tired of being made fun of and her mom is this like transvestite or someone's mom is a transvestite and yeah. i think it was the transvestite person that got run over by the car or whatever i think yeah. that was a real I think person. that was a dummy. I swear I was watching an episode of I Mary with Children. I think it was a real person. That was a real human being. I don't know. I don't know. But either I way, don't know. I would If love... you know if it was a dummy or a real human being, email us at zvhsbandits at gmail.com. If you are that dummy yeah. or that human, we want to know. <laughs> so that, that movie looks great. I'd love to see that. Yeah, it looks very good. That's oh, really good. Um, yes, yeah, there were a bunch of really cool trailers on the on the tape. And then we get right into the movie. Mm. Yeah. So what did you guys think <clears throat> of the movie? 
It's okay. It's okay. The effects were really good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The effects are really good. It get it takes a while were... to get into it. Yeah. It's a it's yeah. a slow. It's a little bit of a slower slower movie. It is. Yeah. The best way I could describe this movie <laughs> is it's like. You know, like when you play a game on PlayStation One, like the first Resident Evil or something, and then there's like a there's like an in-game cutscene, right? And so it's obviously it's not like an FMV; it's an in-game cutscene where like uh, Barry's talking to Jill about being the master of unlocking or something, and like yeah. they cut from like one pre-rendered background shot to another, where like somebody's in the middle of an action and there's like a split second like change where stuff kind of like freeze frames. And then the cuts into what they're doing. That's kind of what this movie was like to me. Like at the <laughs> end, like, I don't know if that makes much sense, but like, you know, at the end, like the editing, I guess, you know, you, you know like at the end where it's like of... somebody like they like hold up a knife and they hold her for a second and then they go down oh, and they cut somebody. I, I see and then they cut to another shot and they're like, ah, and then they like pause for a second and cut to another shot. And then they rip right. up, pull up yeah, the, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? So like all, all the actions it's happen like, how, like he, slow, you know what I mean? Right, so there, there's like the, uh, there's like the, <laughs> the like head not, and the tail quick of the clip. Time. Yeah, right. Yeah, but, it was a bit of that. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, what did you guys think of the acting in this movie? Uh, I thought the guy was actually pretty good. Yeah, there's that? there's places not, where not he's much of anybody good. else, <laughs> and yeah. the gangster guy who like robs him was pretty good too. The his friends guy? were kind of just yeah the guy who stabs him and gets his arm chewed off by his oh, stomach oh yeah yeah yeah, oh, yeah 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 i'm thinking yeah right yeah yeah that guy yep that was he was pretty good because things. like when so i mean he basically this guy eats yogurt and then he turns into a monster that's the you know <laughs> yeah that's and the he movie has, so he gets he all he gets all had some greek cool. yogurt <laughs> yeah and he has to kill people to go to get normal again and yeah, so there's the there's this moment where he's getting he's like all gooey and he's got his invisible man bandages wrapped around him and then this uh like these <laughs> thugs look like he just had a rubber glove on his head. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and the these thugs are like, "Hey, invisible man, give us your money." And then he's like, "Come on, man, I'm just sick." Uh, and he's like, "Fuck you." And then he stabs him in the stomach, but then his stomach like eats his arm mouth. and he's like oh yeah his stomach turns <laughs> oh, into a and Bobby. <laughs> oh, Bobby. turns into a mouth and chops this guy's arm off and he's really selling it like i thought he did good he was like ah and like you know you'd think he got his arm chopped off and his other Acting. his other friends <laughs> yeah his his other like gangbanger friends are just like let's get the fuck out of here <laughs> they were like they laughing away. while they were doing this take <laughs> right that's what i said like they weren't they were clearly just like random guys yeah. that were the, somebody's then, like, friend that they showed split, up you know? and they just come back real quick to get the boom box and take off right <laughs> That was it's very uh crotchetcharelli's with the christmas tree oh, i know dude totally christmas tree's fine yep um uh, if you've seen our christmas movie i loved uh it was it was so convincing when um uh was it alex he's the lead guy right um he sure. he brings a, a uh he brings a hooker to his house and he takes oh, wow he, she was great dude he takes a razor blade and like slices her face and she just goes like <laughs> you whoa you bastard yeah I, <laughs> wow, no that pain, was great nothing <laughs> That was great. <laughs> and then and then he has to go and slice her. Yeah. Again. Oh. Uh, so this movie is a lot like um street trash. Yeah. I wonder which one came first. Do you know? I don't know. Because they're basically the same movie. They they have a very much the same feel. Street trash is, you know, Viper Cola or Viper like whiskey or whatever yeah. that homeless people drink and they turn into gooey monster people like that want to the tie-dye goo people yeah that you know play uh penis football and uh <laughs> this movie is uh yogurt himalayan devil yogurt that turns you into a goo man that wants to, <laughs> yeah and they both uh, take place in like dingy people? new york mm. yeah yeah um have you seen street trash oh yeah I don't have a copy of it, but I've seen it. It's good. Yeah. 
It's really good. I mean, you just you pretty much just did get butt. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I I really wonder which one came first. They are so similar. I don't know. I have to look that up. Uh, but yeah, they. I feel like same. I want to say street trash came first because this looks. If I <laughs> had to guess, a, this seems take a quick like a look on the old street trash. Which one? Buff. Which one do you do you prefer, T man? Street. I don't know. That's tough. I mean, street trash is again like it's. I get it's like cool, but there is a lot of like slow stuff. That's yeah. like all right. I just want. Uh, I just want to see the street trash was eighty seven. Slime City was eighty eight. Oh. oh, makes sense. That's all. It's like Deep Impact and Armageddon. Yeah. Mm. I don't know, street dude. Trash I, and Slime City. I, I think I prefer it's a Slime tough City one. over Street Trash. Honestly, really, I think the story I might have to agree with better. you. I don't know. If there's because Street Trash really doesn't have much of a story. It's just about a couple it's of homeless just, dudes. It's just a bunch of people getting gross and uh, yeah, killing, killing each other. Yeah, uh, I mean, there's virtually like no storyline in that movie. Whereas this, I feel, I mean. The thing I think I like the There's most. There's virtually no storyline in this movie either. Oh but... no, that's not true at all, dude. I think the storyline in this is intricate and sophisticated, oh, and actually, wow. and actually, really good. You're throwing around them back of the box words. Yeah, that's what I'm talking There's, about. Right. There is more of a storyline. I like the storyline, but it's they just, cool. It, it's more of a just, you know. I mean, it's fucking Slime City, so I'm not like busting his chops or anything. Slime but City. It's just like the storyline is there just so we have these, uh, you know, gross out gags and whatever, which yeah. is fine. Um, but I, yeah, go ahead. I yeah, almost how, feel go into like the intricacies of these stories. I almost feel like the this, I, feel, I almost feel like somebody yes. wrote this. Mm. I mean, it's probably not true. I feel like somebody wrote well, this. Well, someone script. did write it. Somebody yes, wrote this script There's to a be right more to of a sophisticated, <laughs> like, uh, like a. Like like a sophisticated cult, sophisticated movie. street trash, and then whoever mm. like took the script, you know, the director, or whatever, took the script, and they're like, "All right, man, if this movie's gonna like sell some tapes, I gotta, I gotta make this movie gross." So they made it. So they <laughs> took this movie and made it gross. Does that make sense? That's the way I feel that this movie was made. Uh, yeah. Okay. I don't know. Right. That's what I'm seeing. But and then the writer is wreathing in in the. Uh, in the theater, he's like, "This is not my work of art. Well, this is not the I slime feel like. city that I created." That's what that's the like. Slime Stephen, is a metaphor. That's not that's, physical. <laughs> it's a metaphor. That's like Stephen King to the to the Stanley Kubrick Shining. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, Stanley Kubrick ruined Slime City for <laughs> the writer. <laughs> That's all I'm. That's all that's, I'm saying. It's not the original vision. I just think it's a cool concept of okay. This satanic dude, thirty years ago, yeah, he, him and his brethren, they all kill themselves in the basement of this place. But they leave, but there's ghosts are there, and they inhabit the bodies of the of the tenants, and they're trying to get more people in this so that way they can resurrect. Um, what's his name? You know what? Yeah, it's like Ghostbusters. I, yeah, okay. Ghostbusters too. Sure. Ghostbusters, where you know. There's a lot of slime. Oh, you mean like the key master and that that kind of thing? Yeah, the gatekeeper. Okay. Yep, they're in an apartment building. uh, Okay, I get you. Not the the other one. What's the other one? But no, I I, I don't know. Ooh, T-Man, you keep keep pixeling out. I think T-Man needs a Wi-Fi Just keep going. That's okay. He does. Oh, boy. (laughs) Oh, boy. (laughs) Yeah. Hey. But no, I um, I just think it's an interesting storyline. I don't know. No, it is. It is. But it is. Uh, there's it's more a, there's complex a fatal... than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> That's true. There is a fatal flaw in the storyline. I mean, so there's the suicide cult and they all, you know, they they go, they commit suicide just so that they can resurrect themselves. Just don't commit suicide and you'll still you'll be alive. Problem solved. What the fuck? maybe they just want to try out new bodies yeah Yeah. i guess oh i'm just trying i'm just seeing how it fits i'm sick of i'm sick of of this mortal vessel i think i want to try that one over there well if i recall i think they (laughs) said that the the ritual that they were doing was an experiment i think they were saying so I don't know. Oh, okay. I don't know. Well, that's I what like hell that they set it up. Like, you got to kill yourself to find out if it works. Who's the leader of a satanic cult named right. Zachary? 
<laughs> I used to sit behind. It would have been great if it was like social studies. It was named Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> like some slightly goofier name. Oh man. Um, but yeah, I I don't know. I but I don't know. But um but no, I I thought I mean, yeah, it's kind of a slow burn. The music sucks. Um it does. <laughs> I like the music. I like the music in this movie. I thought it was great. It, it, you know, kind of going back to video games real quick. If you've ever played the director's cut of the first Resident Evil game, you know what the music in that in that game sucks. It reminds me a lot of the soundtrack to Whoa. Resident Evil director's cut. Did Sorry, this is kind of random. Did you guys feel that some of the um cuts and how some of the like dialogue was shot kind of like how we're talking now was really oh, it's like direct into the camera oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. it's very like shot very like amateur mm. re Am- yeah uh yep. which is whatever it doesn't bo- it doesn't bother me it's kind of just like you know the the stylistic choice i think was this shot on video it must have been right i would have you know honestly dude it could it have been on like film it, i really have but- no idea because they, there is a lot of like going back to that there's a lot of adr where clearly yeah. they captured terrible audio on set so they re-recorded the voices and stuff yeah so this is probably like um i don't know super low budget other, other than the effects i mean they definitely put all their money into the effects which oh, yeah. is the right choice yeah mm-hmm. absolutely the effects were great um, yeah so um, let's, let's talk what about- you think about the the two uh the, I, I want to call them the metal dudes. Like, there's the metal dude who, that, not really, but the dude that lives in the apartment. Yeah. And then the metal chick, the dream girl chick, or whatever. Yeah. What do you, um, what do you think? Well, about I think that? her name was uh, Nicole. Yeah. She was the, she was the, she was the, uh, the, the video, she was the rock video slut that lived next door. <laughs> 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 and then the other the guy is she a ghost or is she a real lady well she was like a, a real lady miss? that has been possessed by one of the dead cult members mm. oh okay. all of them are. everybody else who lives there is except is, for the old lady except for the old lady yeah she was the only one who's who's alive she was the old lady yeah yeah she was the young lady now she's the old lady yeah yeah um the uh I like the rocker dude. I guess maybe they were an item of that. But anyway, this dude moves into this apartment with like his girlfriend and then and then he's immediately taken over by this seductress uh, rock video slut who uh wants to turn him into slime man for some reason. And then uh think, but like I think it was played by the same woman who was the girlfriend. Really? What? What the hell are you wow. talking about? No way. Maybe. Come on. Yeah. No. Whoa. Are you, wait, did you just wig. confirm that? I did confirm no. it. No. Well, confirmed. Mary <laughs> Hunter <laughs> was the actress. She played Lori slash no Nicole. Shit. I had no idea. <sighs> That's crazy. Me neither. I had wow. no idea. Weird. No now idea. Now you know. Well, dude, her, her <laughs> rock video slut wig was huge. <laughs> Oh man, yeah. It, re- it did remind me a little bit of um Rock and Roll Nightmare for some reason. Like when yeah. she was dancing around like seducing him and <laughs> yeah. stuff. Yeah. I don't know. It had a it had a Rock and Roll Nightmare vibe to it. Totally. Um yeah, all the all the punk rock people in this was was cool. Um um the whole I the whole thing that was weird was like you know how down the basement there's all like the wine bottles and like mason jars and stuff some of them are like filled with pink you would know Mr. Diet Dr. Wee Wee yeah yeah he's there's a whole bunch of uh, Dr. Dr. Mason Wee Wee concoctions down there concoctions <laughs> what ha- what happens when they run out see that I was wondering that. notice how a lot of them well eventually you got a pee pee again well, like a bunch of them, like just had like some tin foil on the top. It's like there's no cap. I don't know if you noticed that. It's like there's no. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know. Didn't. But some of them are different colors. They're gonna go bad. And I'm wondering, uh, d- does each hey, one Himalayan yogurt never goes bad? Well, what's the difference between the Himalayan yogurt and like the and the and like the liquor down? Uh, the, I'm sorry, the elixir that she that the old lady calls ectoplasm. Like 
What is the difference? That's the starter, if, and then you I gotta. Mean, that's what I'm wondering. It's like, it's like, do you have to have both as a part of your possession diet? Do you one need, one is be. organic and has is non GMO, which is the Himalayan <laughs> yogurt. Yeah, and you get it at one's from you Himalaya. Get it at Trader Jojo's. Trader Jojo's. I mean, what? What if you're like, what if you're like, sorry guys, I'm vegan. This is dairy. Or what if you're <laughs> lactose intolerant and you have the Himalayan yogurt? <laughs> you just, you just shit that demon out. Do you shit the slime? It's not dairy. <laughs> it's made, it's soy yogurt. Oh, it's soy. <laughs> it's made out of soy and almond milk. See, it's, you oh, can, okay. you can, you can crystallize it and put it in your Himalayan sea salt lamp. <laughs> yeah. And then you got what? Himalayan, <laughs> Himalayan, Himalayan sea ectoplasm yeah. lamp. What if you just, what if he was just like, here, have a Himalayan sea salt nightlight for your bedroom. Would that have possessed you too? <laughs> and then you, it probably and then you breathe in while. the vapors. The vapors. <laughs> Is Man. that what those fucking things are for? Salt vapor? Salt. Yeah. No, they're supposed to make you feel calm and stuff. Yeah. But hey, I had yeah. one. You want, hey, you want salt? Eat a pretzel. Okay, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jesus. Is that what is eat. that what the punk rock dude should have been? He'd be like, hey, you want to get possessed by uh, by Zachary? Eat this damn pretzel. <laughs> <laughs> and then when he comes into pretzel. his room, he, he uses in. the Himalayan goo as cheese. <laughs> yeah. Yo, cheese. Hey, oh, that's hey, perfect. You want some of this Himalayan Put it on cheese? Your you want some of this yeah. Himalayan cheese? 75 cents extra. <laughs> that when you go to the when you go to the DCU center the for a shops theater. game, oh you want a pretzel? You want you want some cheese with that pretzel? 75 cents for this little teeny little cup of, of cheese. <laughs> hey, next time I'm bringing my own cheese. <laughs> There's just more ectoplasm goo in one of those big jugs with the thing and <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah. Well, like, well, like, does that part? Hey, where, hey, your ectoplasm cheese is empty. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, does that part where the punk rock dude comes over to Alex's apartment? He's like, "Oh, I brought some leftovers," and he brought a bit like a like a paper bag from a, I'm sorry, a plastic yeah. bag from the grocery store. And That's it's, so gross. Hey, listen, hey, listen. If my neighbor came up to me in an apartment building, my neighbor's like, "Hey, I have this greasy bag of leftovers <laughs> for you." No fucking way am I taking that. That's <laughs> disgusting. Anyway, I don't care how Himalayan cheesy it is. <laughs> then this guy gets addicted to this Himalayan uh, dick cheese. <laughs> yeah. He loves it. Yeah. And the and the elixir. Enough. But that's my <laughs> wonder. I see, I wonder. It's kind of like <clears throat> the stuff in that regard too, right? Well, like, what if you just have the yogurt? What if you just have the elixir? What if you don't have both? And I noticed, I don't know if you guys noticed, which, but which one is the slime element and is which it one is the possession like, element? Yeah, right? Are they, do they do have two separate things? I don't know. Mm, it looks like Trix yogurt because it's so colorful. Yes, it is. Um, but like, uh, so <laughs> drink just the elixir. It's the demon possession without shedding off all the slime calories. <laughs> <laughs> elixir zero. <laughs> it's it's a uh, it's sugar free. Yeah, it's 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 a uh, it's a uh, elixir slime zero. It's elixir Spe elixir free. Speaking of which, what do you got there, Kev? You you drink it out of your old sip cup? Uh, vanilla Coke. Ooh, that's my it's my recording staple. Whoa. All right, fancy. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, it's uh yeah. that's that's my big mystery of the movie is. The elixir and the, and the yogurt. Now, so obviously, you think, you think it's like, you know, like when you have to, it's like an epoxy where you've got the two separate agents and they got to mix together mm. oh, to make okay. the, uh, the bonding. Now, uh, yeah. here's, the, here's the other thing. All the elixir is down the basement, right? There's a couple of uh, like bookshelves covered in this stuff, right? Covered in the elixir bottles and, and mason jars. Where's the Himalayan yogurt coming from? Like I assume it's they're in the lying. fridge. I assume, but where's it? Where are they making it though? Do you think they have to make no it? Idea. They got to make it's the, yogurt. Himala the Himalayas. <laughs> but he, I think he was lying about the Himalayan yogurt though. Obviously, it's 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 uh, it's some kind of goo. No, he wouldn't lie. <laughs> this sleazy dude in the in the terrible part of New York City. 
<laughs> who's part of a satanic uh, a cult led by a hey. dude named Zach. Well, I love how the someone who dudes... gives their neighbor greasy bag of leftovers <laughs> well, it would not be a lie. I like that his his that's kitchen. My, that's my favorite meal: greasy bag of leftovers. Oh yeah, his his. <laughs> uh... It's my favorite restaurant <laughs> yeah. next to Grafton Pizza House or whatever. <laughs> every every hey, bag I'll looks like a bag, bag of leftovers. five guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, five guys. <laughs> what? If, hey, they just pour your, the grease a... in. <laughs> That's a great restaurant idea. Just call it Greasy Bag of Leftovers, and you just sell the, leftovers just from the other grease. restaurants. Yeah, just the grease. Scrambled. Just the grease. There's, there's no overhead. Yeah. You don't got to cook a thing. <laughs> it's it's literally just dumpster diving. <laughs> Ooh, grafting growth throughout these crusts. I think I'll take them. <laughs> What's on the menu today? Uh, crusts. <laughs> Frozen crust. <laughs> stuffed crusts and that's crust stuffed in this crusty bag. <laughs> hey, stuff those crusts up your asshole. Whoa. <clears throat> that's what I call stuffed crust pizza. <laughs> <laughs> um, what were we talking hmm. about? Slime <laughs> City. Hey, what did you guys think oh, of the right, interactions the between Alex and his good buddy? What was his buddy's name? Um, Cheeseball. Oh, Jerry? Yeah, basically. Sure, um, Jerry. Let's call him Jerry. It, it, I felt like I was watching <laughs> Jerry. like a sitcom with these two. It was kind of funny, like their interactions. Yeah, yeah. He's he's very generic cheeseball-y Where yeah, uh, he's like the the friend that's like, oh, you gotta get laid, buddy. <laughs> duh, 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 duh. And you know, he's like a teen sex comedy guy. Yeah, totally. Uh, yeah, um, I didn't mind it, but it's just like. Okay, you know we see this character in every fucking you know movie from the eighties. Yeah. So why would this be an exception? Um, not a bad thing. He's, I don't know. He he just is like out of a different movie almost. Yeah. Mm. Uh, what you guys Kinda, think of the? Uh, we got to talk. We talk about how good the effects were. We we'll talk about the effects. Yeah, the ending. Oh yeah, There's yeah. Some the good ending's stuff. great. That might be my favorite part of the movie. Why? Um, uh, because the dude's getting hacked because up. Because that's real why. Cool. I like his how his gut busts open and it looks like a chewed up Seven Eleven food falls out of his chewed stomach. Up 7-Eleven oh yeah, food? that was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's 7-Eleven food? Nacho cheese. <laughs> Nacho cheese. Hot you got one of them, the them four-day-old yeah, four rotary hot dogs. <laughs> rotary it looks like non-chewed 7-Eleven food. A little, little, bit, food. Of a, little <laughs> bit of a big gulp in there. Maybe some it's Twinkies. Like you, some snowballs. You order the, snowballs. You order the nachos at 7-Eleven, and they give you a big plate of slop. And then you order the hot dog at 7-Eleven to give you a big plate of slop. <laughs> and, they give, and then you order the pizza at 7-Eleven, you get a big plate of slop, and it all looks the same. <laughs> That's what you, came out of this guy's a, belly. Then you get yeah. a large Diet Coke to wash it down, and it's just a cup of slop. <laughs> <laughs> it's bubbly slop. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, she part, like cuts his stomach She has open, to right? like hack him up into all the pieces because they keep being like, nah, I'm not dead yet. I, yeah, uh, and I, then his head splits open, and mm. his brain crawls out. I liked yeah. how when his brain crawled out, it was like perfectly dry. Like it was the most it, for a movie <laughs> called Slime City, and everything else about this guy is covered in slime. His brain was perfectly dry. Maybe it's like a like the slime is a one of the benefits uh, dehumidifying process for his brain you think so yeah all, all the because all the slime was down. coming out of his pores right yeah so yeah. all the brain slime was ejected through it his was pores. it was in the it was in the dark man wrappings yeah i guess so <laughs> yeah there's no slime left on the inside what i want to know is where was the brain even gonna go where was it going <laughs> it was it gonna it was attacking no the girlfriend what's it gonna do <laughs> uh, climb up her leg. Nothing. He's just gonna try and. Hey, little brain. Uh, maybe what like, brain? are you gonna do about it, little brain? <laughs> hey, brain. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> it'll find something. It's smart. You know, it has it'll to think. Think about it real it's hard. Resourceful. It'll it'll outwit her. That's what it'll. It's do. a real <laughs> brain teaser. He's gonna outsmart her. <laughs> Boy, it's that like, one's a real thinker. It honestly looked like the thing. It, it looked like a, uh, an effect from the. Th- the thing almost. It looked like it my like old uh, 
I used to have a Nickelodeon brain football that was just like a phone. Well, I don't mean the brain itself, but the like his head splitting oh, open. Oh yeah, 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 and all all that, and the animatronic. They even had like when he was decapitated and his head's like coming up through the floor. They had like an animatronic, his chin's moving and everything. Oh, yeah, it looked great. That was good. No, I think I think it still just looked like Dane's Nickelodeon brain <laughs> football. <laughs> In fact, this whole scene could have been on Nickelodeon. I would have believed it. It could have been. This is an it episode actually of did. Crazy just, kids. You know what? Maybe he didn't. That's so drink, much slime. He didn't drink Himalayan yogurt. He just. He just said, "I don't know." Yeah, and he got covered in the slime. <laughs> then he got Himalayan slime. yogurt. Yeah, and then Alanis Morissette said, "I heard a hearty hearty." That's. That's why his brain wasn't slime, because the brain knows things. <laughs> oh, man. Putting pieces together. Wow. We finally cracked the code of Slime City. <laughs> Ugh, you heard it here code, first. Much like that guy's brain cracked open. So this is what I got to know. So uh, Alex's body has been officially possessed by Zachary. He's the reincarnation of Zachary, because over time, his hair becomes whiter. <laughs> and by the end of the movie, he's slimy. He's slimy uh, Zachary, right? So sure. the body got chopped up. I'm assuming his soul like left the like left the brain, right? Because the brain that was all that was left and uh and 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 that that left. So after the movie ends, what's gonna happen? Is his is are they gonna try to reincarnate him into another tenant, potentially the detective? Yeah, the cop. Yeah. I yeah. guess so. I guess so. Oh yeah, let's talk about the cop. Did he do had really do anything in this movie? Not really, because he he never really caught Alex, who was murdering. Yeah, people. he just showed up once and was like, "Hey, I'm a cop, huh?" <laughs> and then Alex is like, "All right, why? You know, maybe this lady's missing because uh, because of her pimp." And then the cop's like, "I'm still a cop. I'll be back at the end of the movie." <laughs> Well, he talks yes, to pretty much for what he does. He talks to uh, Alex's girlfriend real quick, who doesn't really know anything about it. Um, and then he comes up at the end of the movie, and he's like, "Well, there's a lot of shit up in that in that apartment, but I like the apartment. Is it going to be open soon after you clean it up? Great, because I'm thinking about <laughs> renting it out. Yeah, like a cop needs to live in this shithole. <laughs> hey, all it's the, all the free bags of greasy leftovers you want. Yeah, yeah. The neighbors are so nice. What happened to the? Uh, what happened to that guy, punk rock guy? Nothing. Did he die? Nothing. No, all what, of he them just were kind of disappears. No, right? All of them yeah, were at the very end of the movie. Fine. They were all there talking to the cop at the end, just being yeah, like, "But Whoa. he just kind of like, yeah, yeah." They were all there hanging out, and that was it. All right. Well, well, <clears throat> but uh, that was that. That was that. Yeah. So that was that. Wow, not a whole lot to be said about this movie today, guys. I'm sorry. Well, there's a lot. There's a lot of like, I it's don't a know, very complex it, a lot movie of stuff that I don't think we can really yeah. unpack <laughs> in one episode. Okay. Yeah, this is a three parter. Oh boy, for sure. <laughs> and the third part is for the Patreon. Dane's like, I feel like I'm gonna be sick the next two times, so we're gonna record that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, how did <laughs> it's you know how did he kill his friend? Oh, he just he just smashed his head on the ground. Oh, right, right, right. I don't, you know, the funny thing is, everybody's like, "Oh, this movie's super gross. You don't want to eat food," and I kind of believe that, but I think that this movie should have had more ooze and gross stuff. I think, honestly, mm. I think it was lacking in the in terms of the volume of ooey gooeyness well, that it could have yeah, had. Yeah, it, it was, was less more like a slime town <laughs> than a city. <laughs> it's more like slime guy. Not slime slime this, municipal. Yeah. The whole city was not. It's not uh, like slime Ghostbusters slime Two Township. slime, which right. is running under the sewers. Oh yeah, it should be called Ghostbusters Two Slime Town, yeah, Slime yeah, City. Slime, sli yeah, exactly. <laughs> slime, town. slime Town City, Slime Town City. I mean, baby. Well, I mean, he definitely could have <laughs> like ran the slime gun from Ghostbusters Two off of his own body. You know what I mean? Oh, for sure. So. Do you think if you played upbeat music, if he was asleep and covered in slime, he'd that you could like, control with a, with a Nintendo joystick? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, probably. He looks like he could he could rule uh, Dino Koopa lands <laughs> with all that <laughs> yeah. slime. Yep, trust the fungus. With all that Astroglide, he could just 
Trust the fungus Slide coopers down king. the street. He could have just said, uh, he could have just said, I love the slime because it's dirty and clean at the same time. <laughs> and it's non GMO and organic. Yeah. <laughs> Where's my pizza? <laughs> Here you go. Uh, Here's a dirty sack yeah. full of pizza crust. Oh, my <laughs> dirty, dirty sack Here's of my slop. leftovers from last night. So, that punk rock dude, when he was having dinner with Alex, his dinner table was like the size of a little stool, and they were like super close to each other. It was the weird. budget went into the slime. They live in New York City, man. Have you ever been in a New York City apartment? No. Are they are they well, small you enough to wear? even fit in one. This this small enough that you you gotta wear you gotta your, your stool is your dinner table. Some of them. You don't think even I have. had a dinner table in Los Angeles? You didn't no. have any tables in Los Angeles. I. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> It's tiny. Well, how come you had a big okay. apartment no, no. compared to some make New sense York City apartments? How you come had a bathroom? But Alex had a wicked nice <laughs> That's apartment true. that was big and had hallways. How come punk rock? You think all the apartments are the same size, right? In this apartment because complex? the punk rock guy is a poet and Alex you is gotta, an artist. You got to lure. And there's a hierarchy. The new, <sighs> you got to lure the new cult members in um, with the nice fancy apartment. Oh, and okay. then everyone else just. It's probably just like a, a shared property. Everyone Ugh. just comes and goes. Well, because like I'm thinking of um, murdering hobos. I'm thinking of Nicole in her room right next door, and it and it looks like it's uh it's like a hobo apartment. It's all like fucked yeah, up. She's and, squatting. Yeah, that that place looks like um looks like you need a tetanus <laughs> shot walking through. Hobos yeah. don't have apartments. I know. <laughs> That's why they're hobos. I I understand. <laughs> But uh, she's just sloppy. Yeah. She's a rock video slut. Rock it's a rock video, video slut. slut apart. You bet. <laughs> oh, hey, she's we already even, got tetanus. <laughs> we didn't even talk about the video <laughs> store. Oh yeah, you're right. He works at a video store. store. I wish that there was more video store in this movie. There's a quick, quick scene in a video store. Put some more video store in there. And I like the sleaze Fit ball who, who runs the video store. Yeah, he was pretty so, cool. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know. He's just kind of another sleazeball guy. I, I don't know. Yeah. He, it's nothing really special. I don't even know why they go to the video store. Like he works there and then they never go back again. That's the, I wish they went back. Would have been great. I know, but like nothing happens. No. He just goes there just to talk to his girlfriend again. That's true. But uh, yeah, so that's that. That's pretty much the movie. That's I mean, the there's movie. Uh, mm, that's he, the... he kills some people. Uh, he's slimy. Uh, he's grimy. Uh, oh, real it's quick. It's in the city. You know who's he's one of my favorite city. characters? Is the homeless slime guy. in the city. No, oh, <laughs> yeah. He does uh, uh, have an interaction with the, with the hobo. That guy was great. I think he was a... Hey, he was, give me a quarter, man. I'd give you a quarter if I was in your shoes, the... I love that when, when maybe I'd uh, even give you two quarters. Alex is like getting all slimy, like in a back alley, and the guy's like, "Hey, have some respect. This is my <laughs> home here." <laughs> oh, he's like puking up uh, slime juice. Yeah, that um, that was uh, so when he got beaten with the with the pipe, and then there's like that one quick shot of like a bloody dummy, and he goes, and he hits the bloody <laughs> dummy. I don't know. It was just. That just kind of came that out of nowhere because I I think that there would have been more of that, but it was just like a quick shot of <laughs> hitting that dummy. So that looked nothing well, like that's a probably dummy. why there was Hit only one dummy. shot of it. Yeah. Hit that dummy. But yeah, that was that. Wow. That's Slime City. Slime and City, baby. Slime City. So uh, how what do you, you guys, guys want to rate this? How do you guys want to rate this? Uh, Himalayan uh, butt milk or... Uh, 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 slime. How many? How many dry brains you want to rate? How many dry of? brains? Okay, we'll do that. <laughs> how many Nickelodeon dry, brain Nickelodeon brains. dry Nickelodeon brains. dry brains? All right, T man, you start. Oh my gosh, huh? I don't know. This is a toughie. I think, I think I'm gonna give it seven dry brains. I'm gonna crack my skull open. And pour out seven dry brains. Because, I mean, it's a good movie. It's fun. Um, 
but it's there is a lot of like you know you can like put it on in the background and like pay attention every once in a while type of stuff and you're not gonna like miss anything um but i do think that it is better than uh uh street trash i do think that it might be better than street trash i need to watch street trash again but i'm just throwing that out there you might be right on that all right there kev what do you think it dude i'm gonna give slime city uh six dry brains Mm. Mm. out of ten okay all right why is that? What would uh, what would wet those brains for you? It's the uh, the effects were great. The story was pretty good. The those like straight on shots were a little off putting. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was okay. I don't see what all the hoopla is about. Yeah, that's I don't know some- why this is a super culty movie, but. You guys know me. I'm the picky <laughs> you hate one. Movies. I'm the worst <laughs> bandit of them all. So um, maybe I just don't get it. One thing that I <laughs> definitely have found something out about in the in the VHS community, in the collector community, is that there's a lot of these movies that people get because they got like these, you know, wacky covers or whatever. You know, they're they're expensive, they're rare, mm. they're sought after, they're heat tapes, you know, whatever. And then you get to actually, like, find one or trade for one or whatever. And you're like, oh, my God, I got this movie. Holy shit, wow. And then you watch it and you're like, oh, sh- Jesus Christ. Yeah, just because it's hard to find doesn't necessarily make it great. Yeah, I've, I've seen some of the tapes that are, I mean, not that I've owned, but, like, I've watched them on, in another format or something of, of like, one of the, you know, some of these movies that, People mm. think are like, whoa, these super heat tapes. What? And I'm like, oh man, this movie's not great. Like, I, I don't really enjoy it, or it's kind of, eh, it's just kind of okay. You know what I right. mean? Well, it's more so the rarity and the, you know, there's definitely like parts of it that are like great. Like oh, if you sure. do a supercut oh, of all the slime no, stuff, you know. Yeah, uh, but well, yeah, there's I think no party the hats in this movie and, either. No party. No. You party would think I mean, there are movies slut. that are that are. I would say. That are that are you know highly collectible that are rare or or, or what mo- what some people might is consider as expensive on the internet like a movie like Frankenhooker right that can mm. go for uh, a hefty price these days but that's a fucking really good movie and Kev would disagree right but that's a I think you know I think Team Man and I that's would agree that's a great movie that's like yeah, a, yeah. that's like a ten out of ten right there I mean it's a great movie um but then what this- about what about eight days a week. Eight T-Man eight, and I watched that with our buddy John. A That's a hard tape to find, but it's a good movie. Yeah, eight. but nobody wants to collect it. Nobody's bleeding slime <laughs> yeah, no, from their no eye one's, sockets. No yeah. one's bought into the hype of that movie yet. <laughs> well, you could yeah. say the same hey, thing. So I'm about, holding on to it. It will go up in value. Could say the same thing about Misery Brothers Y2K. <laughs> <laughs> that's a real hard movie. Super hard tape to come by. Super I hard think that's tape just a. You think Lou Ferrigno has a copy of it? What's that? You think Lou Ferrigno has a copy of Misery Brothers? Probably not. Slime 2K. I would imagine that anybody who had anything to do with this movie denies its existence. What about those two <laughs> girls in the jacuz? <laughs> in the jacuz? Who got electrocuted <laughs> by the electric blanket? And uh, the one girl's like, ah, uh, uh, being electrocuted. She could have played the uh, the the whore in this movie. Oh, yeah. She <laughs> could have been a... She would have been a great rock video <laughs> slut in this movie. <laughs> All right, Dane. So what do you give it? How many dry brains are you giving I think I'm going to give Slime City (laughs) seven and a half. Wow. Seven and a half. Slicing that brain. Nerf. Now, do you slice the brain left left and right, or are you just going like halvesies front and back? I'm going halvesies. I'm I'm going halvesies, and I'm going to take the back. Okay. Not the front, but the back. Because the back has those cool little ribby things on the bottom. So mm. yeah, that's why. Cool. It, it, that's the that's the part that attaches the stem to the to you to the nervous system. So mm. yeah, that's right. So that's um, the important yeah, one. Like I said, I think the story is really good. Um, it, it 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 catches my interest, but the movie definitely it it's slower. Uh, the action happens really slow. The music is terrible. 
Um, the music is good. I like the music in this yeah, movie. Dude, it's that, you know that's who something we didn't talk about. Hey, you know who could have done the soundtrack hey. to this movie, which it sounds like it came from? Those Andrew Shanley movies. Yeah. That's ex- yeah. Dude, that's exactly what the sounds like. <laughs> that's what it sounds like. That's what I was going to say. It sounds like the guy, like they just got, you know, it's a cheap movie. So it sounds like they like had a friend who plays a few instruments. and A few instruments? Got, it's one it's, synthesizer. <laughs> no, there's some guitar and stuff in there. Oh, it's all from a synthesizer. It's got to oh, be. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. There's a guitar in there. And I then, know. you know, they made uh, some, some music. It's, it's like a interesting uh one man uh band type of thing it, that's what it sounds like to me and uh i liked it i like the music a lot okay but continue uh yeah i mean yeah the, the like i said the the effects and stuff the and, and where the acting is bad but it's funny you know what i mean because it's so bad yeah you know the oh let's get the fuck out of here like i feel like i'm watching samurai cop like it's it's of that level right um <laughs> it's a that level of, of fine acting um i mean yeah it's it's you know if honestly i'm gonna be totally honest i i personally would not i personally would have been upset if i like had the money and spent an exuberant amount of money to get an original copy or or what i mean I found a copy at the flea market whatever great <coughs> you know but I'm, I'm i'm glad i have this reproduction that, you know this re-release that's cool if anybody wants to see this movie on tape it's a great way to see it if you're into this stuff it's great oh for sure i would i think that the hype of this movie for the original copy and all the bullshit that people are trying to con people into buying a fake tape and so, like i don't think i think it's an incredibly overhyped movie for what it is i i truly honestly believe that you know yeah it's- well again it's not about how good the actual movie is and maybe somebody does love this movie enough to pay that much money for it or you know they watched it as a kid or they had the you know their first kiss during slime city or something you know sure. there's that stuff that goes into it too hey hey baby come on over and watch some slime city with me i'm gonna give you your first kiss oh no 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 dating elvis <laughs> Yeah. Okay. All right. Sure. Whatever. <laughs> you never dated Elvis before? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't do <laughs> dating Elvis. <laughs> uh, um. But yeah, I mean, it's it's cool. Like, this is the kind of movie I'd watch. It's kind of movie I watch every couple of years, I guess. You know, um, I'm not in yeah, a rush fun. to get some. I'm not in a rush to rewind cold it. pizza. <laughs> yeah. 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 This is a kind of movie that. Uh, I yeah, what would what would you pair with Slime City? Nothing, man, because I don't I don't feel like you can Nothing. eat. I don't think you can eat food while watching this movie because it's kind of gross. So oh. I couldn't eat food and watch this movie. So okay, Kevba, what about you? Mm, I have no idea. No, I think you should at least get a multi <laughs> two day old mac and cheese <laughs> Slurpee. <laughs> Two day old mac and cheese. Two oh, day some, old some cheese. Cut your, food? You can cut your stomach open and it all falls out. <laughs> and then he puts it back in. I like that part. He picks up all the slop and. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, that was so long because like he it's literally like five second rule, dude. He picked up every single little piece. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it was it was it took hey, him it like thirty seconds to pick up every little piece. It just kept going hey, on and on. He, he spent at most. Four dollars and all that food. And he's yeah. gonna get it. Look, it reminded me <laughs> of, uh, of you know, in uh, Salute Your Shorts when they like, when like Donkey Lips and Budnick pretend to be sick, <laughs> and or is it Donkey Lips and Sponge where they like base they eat like a cold can of uh, of spaghettios Yo. and like they barf <laughs> in front of the counter. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty. much It looked like that. Yeah, pretty much. I, you know what I wanted to is like, how come the slime was like really yellow and, and stuff? Like why, why, why didn't he just have like regular blood? Why, why is everything in him like neon yellow now? Cause it, because they watched uh street trash and, <laughs> and, and also I think probably it might've been like, Oh, it shows up better on camera or whatever, or it's a cool artistic choice or it's, you know, ghostly where, but there's I think a lot it's of the um, pollution from the city. 
It could be. Uh, it's usually if you were okay. in a nice people if you in were New in a York nice City have town, it'd blood. be nice, nice clear slime. But yeah, if you were in that, this is this is polluted slime. I the gotcha. highlands of Colorado. It's tainted slime. Tainted slime. It's taint slime. <laughs> but like, um, <laughs> like the the MPAA, I think, uh, is a big reason too. Like we're having like blood and everything. You would get like an X rating. Right, but if you have right. slime and it's green or yellow, it's not blood. So you can get away with showing more of it. I got you. And then you get an R rating or whatever. Hmm, Good Um, point. I think the same goes with like some video games where like the blood's green or whatever. Yep. Like in Uh, Resident Evil. Resident Evil. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Or uh, Mortal Kombat was the first one that did that. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. For Genesis, it was rated M and had blood. And for um, Super Nintendo, it either had green or no blood, which is weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. When you do a fatality and there's no blood. Yeah, come on. Nintendo always makes their games because it's shittier. a family friendly console. Well, sometimes your family wants to rip somebody's head off with a geyser <laughs> of blood. Although, I did have Resident Evil 2 on N64, and that also had um options for green, green and blood? blue blood. Mm. So, you guys have uh, played. You guys played Turok for uh, oh sixty four, yeah. right? Absolutely, oh, yeah. I had Turok one and Seeds of Evil. Nice. I had different color blood too. It did blood options. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. What are my blood options? <laughs> well, you can have Probably blue blood in a sack, red blood in a sack. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Anything else, guys? Uh, Should we uh, yes, wrap we it up and thank take our it home? Patreon. Yes. Yeah. So thank you if uh, if you heard earlier in the episode, which you did. I don't know why you'd fast forward to all the way to the end of the episode, but we have a Patreon. So if you want more episodes, you can go to patreon.com slash VHS bandits. And we've got to thank our Patreons, Kyle Shute, Corey Gorski, Thomas Andrew Gwynn, Retro Kaiser, a.k.a. Captain James T. Kaiser of the Good Ship Barbecue Boat. And then Bert Cesarek, our official Mike Fluffer, aka DVD Creep. Trivia with Buds, Soda, Poppin' Daddies, the professional pro, and James. And then, of course, Kevin James, the Light Wrangler, the Slime Wrangler, Kevin James. So, thank you to all of our patrons, and we hope to see more of you in the future. In the millennium. In the millennium. <laughs> <laughs> um, one thing I just want to mention. If you are a patron, you would know what that means. I did want to mention real quick. There is a sequel to Slime City. Oh, I really? saw that. Um, which I have never takes seen. Takes place in like Slime Takes Metropolis. place in like some uh, 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 post-apocalyptic. Yeah, it's in the future. New York City Something future. Like Oh, weird. I think it came out on DVD. I have no idea. I, I only know of it. I've never seen it. If anybody listening has seen Slime City 2, let us know. Uh, I like to hear about like it. It came out like the late 90s, early 2000s? Something like that. Right? Yeah, it's like a, oh, it's wow. like a modern. It's not, it's, yeah, it's not VHS. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's kind of like. So we uh, can't do it. I think it's kind of like Rock and Roll Nightmare Two. Yeah, what was that called? The 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 Guardian it was or called something? Rock and Roll Nightmare Two. Oh yeah, I don't know. The subtitle. I wish we could do the that movie. Guardian. If anyone has Rock and Roll Nightmare Two on VHS, please send it to it, us because I have it on DVD. But that doesn't count. It's got a name. It's like it's like the Rectifier or something like that. <laughs> the Rectifier. The rectifier. Dude, that movie's so <laughs> good. What happens after eating uh, nacho fries? Oh my <laughs> god, <laughs> that movie's incredible. Holy shit! Well, I tell you what, I it don't have Kevin Rock and would Roll. not like it. <laughs> I'll tell you that <laughs> I, much yeah. right now. <laughs> Spoilers, Kevin. But you guys know mm-hmm. me so well. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! All right, I'm gonna wrap up this episode. Wrap it up Thank with some guys. Wrap it up with some slimy, slimy goals. Thanks, everybody, for listening. Thank you again to all our Patreon members. I'm your co-host, Kev Bot. <laughs> I'm your co-host, Dane Train. I'm your co-host, Topher Hinton. And we are the VHS Bandits. Thanks for listening. As always, be kind and rewind.